Welcome back to Fox Up, another video, and today we're back playing Corpse Party. And, um, so yeah, we left off over here where we had to get the plank of wood and stuff, you know, where I had to restart the whole game just to get the plank of wood. But I'm really mad right now because I've played, I've actually recorded this already for 50 something minutes long. I went through all that pain and stuff for 50, uh, 50 minutes long. I've already completed two endings already. Ending number two and ending number three. I'm gonna get both endings in here again, but for ending number two, crazy stuff happened. So I have the recording saved from my previous one. So like the screen recording didn't record, but my VTuber did. So I'm gonna replace my reaction in here with the my uh, original reaction to it. So you guys will actually see my reaction to what happened and not this fake one that I would do in here. So yeah, the original reaction. I already looked up here. There's nothing important up here. There was some guy in here that was using the restroom, I don't know. And then there was a locked door in the girls' restroom, and that's it, about it. And it said a few words, but I can't really do that now. But yeah, crazy things happened this episode. So just letting you guys know that I'm gonna replace the... the... thing. And right here. Oh god! I think I stepped in it. Ew. You did? Here, I've got some tissues. Maybe you can wipe it off. Uh, these... These are definitely somebody's guts. And when I stepped on it, whatever part of the body I stepped on, it made a squishy sound. Uh, like I just plopped my shoe into a juicy pile of dog poo. Oh god, that's way too much information. You're gonna make me puke. S sorry. <laughs> okay, whatever. I gotta go to the infirmary because that's where the endings are. First was this. Let me read this real quick. Uh, the fate that awaits you from here on out is a cruel one indeed. If you should get stuck and lose hope, the answer may lie in your past. Uh, relive and search through areas you've ne not yet seen. You may simply be missing the one thing you desperately need to continue onward. Reality will often throw such twists at you. <laughs> so I think what I have to do is go through, um, uh, let's see. I'm, so, I already completed two endings and stuff, you know. So, since I've completed those two, uh, there's two more endings. Ending number one, I, I believe, is the true ending. Like, the real ending. Because the other ones are just called, uh, um, something called. I'm trying to remember the name of the other endings. They are called... I don't really know what they're called, but I know they are they are just supposed to be death endings or something like that, where you die. I believe the ending number four is also a death ending, but I think ending number one is the true ending, where we all, well, we all don't escape, but where we get out of, or we move on to chapter two. I don't know if you have to complete all endings to move on to chapter two or not, but I think you just have to complete ending number one. Someone else's thoughts echo in your head. If you have blah 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 blah, it's just that stuff again. <laughs> but yeah, I believe ending number one is a true ending where you don't have to, uh, uh, where you, um, where you move on and find the others or something like that. You find, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna let you know we heard Yuka's voice. Uh, Yuka's voice, um, whenever I was in like the bathroom areas. Yeah, I was just walking, I was just about to head downstairs, and then I heard Yuka scream for her big brother, you know, with that other guy. <laughs> okay, now we just get that thing, then we get the infirmary key. I just don't know, I think one of the endings had to do with the... <laughs> the basement? But I don't really know how to get down there. And maybe... Maybe it ought... Maybe either... An ending has to do with the basement or that static room. You know that red door that's over there? I don't really know. I don't really know how to get the other endings. So once I finish the video, I'm actually gonna search up how to get the other endings because you know I'm not smart enough to actually solve them. I already went through the whole freaking, like, this whole area that we can go in so far. I've already went through everything. 
I can't find a single thing to do. So, yeah. Whatever, let's unlock the infirmary. I already have a save file in here, so I don't really need to do all that stuff. <laughs> I was actually really dumb in the original recording. Like, over here, there's... Uh, I have to... So, you, you guys will see. Let me let me go through. I don't really need to reel that. Okay, all tucked away in the corner like that. I've always preferred nooks and corners, just like... Uh, ju they just make me feel safe, I guess. <laughs> I know just what you mean. I'm the exact same way. I wonder if there's anything in here we could use to um, use to soothe your ankle of yours. Sit tight, Naomi. I'm going to take a look. Okay, thanks a bunch. Don't thank me yet. I haven't done anything. See, we hurt our ankle earlier. Well, we already hurt our ankle, but we hurt it more. Now we just wait for her to get stuff for our ankle. Ah, this will do nicely. I got me a makeshift um, splint and some bandages. Uh, that sprains it. That sprains a goner. Now hold still. Oh man, you're a lifesaver. All right, uh, you're wrapped up tight. How's it feel? Man, feels great, Seiko. Thank you. <laughs> you're very welcome. I've sprained my ankle pretty badly before too, so I know just how you feel. I wish I had some ice or something to put on it, though. <laughs> no worries. You've done more than enough already. Er, you're asleep now. That's fair enough, I guess. Glad you agree. <laughs> it's slumberland for me. <laughs> you really are an oddball, you know that. Oh, no. Happiness is happening right here. And happiness is about to go away. So hey, Naomi. Hmm? If we find Mochida, have you thought about what you want to do, do with him? Eh? Well, you know what they say. When two people are faced with difficult situations, shall we say it often leads to love, sweet love. Um, you should well up all your courage and confess your feelings to him. <laughs> you get all girly with him in this creepy place and your cuteness factor... Oh, um, grow three sizes in, in, in his eyes, I bet. <laughs> I swear with you around. I almost feel like we're just shooting the breeze back at school like nothing ever happened. <laughs> Thank, thanks for your advice. I'll think about it. Hold up, guys. I need to do something. Okay, hold up, guys. Hold up one quick second. Thanks for your advice, I'll think about it. Eh? I hope we find them soon. Uh-huh. You kinda don't, um, you kinda don't though, do you? You're thinking about how you came. You want to see him, but you wish you could rest easy, knowing he's safe and sound back home, rather than wandering here. Um, am I right? Must be those maternal instincts of yours kicking in. Huh, you're a deep, you're a deep one to be sure. Uh, she may sound like an idiot, but she's right on the, she's right on all counts. Guess there's no fooling Seiko. <laughs> I've been pretty curt with her since uh, we got here. I'll have to make sure I apologize later. Mm, gasp. Go. And what was that exactly? <laughs> Sorry, it's just that when I see that <laughs> oh yours, I start to drool. Yeah, this is really weird. You are so weird. Yeah, she's acting really sus. Big brother! And this is where, uh, y Yuki, or Yui, whatever her name is. Yuka, there we go. That was Yuka again! I heard it too, I'll go take a look. You stay here and rest, okay? I'll be back in a jiffy. I don't think that's such a good idea. 
I should go too. I insist. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Just keep that <laughs> part in that bed. You got it? Well, but look, your ankle's all dressed and feeling better, right? Don't make it all for nothing. All right, I guess I'll stay here. Don't leave! Don't leave, Seiko! My ankle really does feel a lot better. Seiko has a, a definite knack for, for caretaking. Ah, <sighs> Miss Yui and the others. Satoshi, I wonder what they're all doing right now. Flashbacks, flashbacks, flashbacks. I don't like flashbacks. You're lucky. You're so cute. You're lucky you're so cute. Oof. I just want to see him. Why did this have to happen? Okay, I'm gonna grab the matches real quick. It's an old fashioned space here. Yeah, take the matches. <laughs> and then this part is gets crazy, okay? I'm gonna get ending two first because it's the most, uh, I don't know how long the recording was off for, but like I started it just in time. I gotta check the recording every now and again, because for some reason it's not telling me that my recording ends. That's what happened last time. So I'm recording it now, okay? So I don't know how long that was. It, it shouldn't have been that long, but whatever. I might have cut that part out, the part that was in, that was a skip, but whatever. Why is the door locked? On closer inspection, there's no visible boat keeping the door closed, nor any uh, other evidence that it's been locked at all. What, but if it's not locked, then why won't it open? I don't know, then. This scared me a lot the first time, but yeah. Are those children? Let's all go on a field trip together over summer vacation. Who was- what? My head hurts so bad, I can't stop this ringing in my ears. <gasps> then the children come again. Then I open the door. The door is laced with countless strands of black hair rooting in it, in place. Oh, the lights turn off. Is, is someone there? It sounds like a ballpoint pen scribbling away on a sheet of paper. What just happened? Okay guys, that was weird. Something just happened there. But whatever, we're back. Um, Kind of mad that this game, so many things are messing up with it. I don't know why. Whatever, we go this way. Push us back, go that way again, push us back, then we go that way. Sachi, have you come to find me? I don't know who Sachi is. Then this uh, dark mist appears. What the? Eek! Look at that dark mist. I, I need to get away. Okay, I'm gonna come over here. The door is laced. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's light it on fire, it doesn't work. And then now we gotta come up here. Move! What are you doing? Move! It's so hard to turn in this game. It's really annoying to do stuff in here. Open, yes. Let's get the rubbing alcohol. So we got the rubbing alcohol, now we go this way. Ah! Oh god. I don't wanna get the- I don't wanna get that ending yet. <laughs> okay. Yes, I'm gonna get the most, I'm gonna get the, one of my, oh, a really bad ending first. After hastily splashing alcohol on, all along the edges of the door, Naomi lit a match in attempt to burn through the seemingly endless strands of hair. With a sizable whoosh and a waft of, of foul-smelling heat, the hair lit up, then hardened, and fell away, okay? And now we run. <sighs> cough, coughs, wheeze. I'm going to kill you. Don't kill me. 
Eek. <laughs> oh no. In an utter panic, I began to run as fast as my feet would carry me. I was so out of sorts, I didn't even know where I was running. I kept calling out Seiko's name over and over. Strangely, I have no memory of where I went during this time. I just ran as if, in a daze, unaware of any unconcerned with my surroundings and unconcerned with my surroundings. When I regained my senses, I found myself standing in the third floor hallway. We didn't really run that far away, though. Seiko, Seiko, where are you? Come on, Seiko, don't leave me by myself in here. Oh no, I know I'm gonna feel equally as sad. Is that you? Okay, before I enter the room, this is where I'm gonna replace. I'm gonna replace my VTuber with my old reaction, so let's see. Oh, okay. Which, which room is it in? Is the banging coming from this room? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. 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 The stall door is locked from the inside. Someone's definitely in there. Uh, oh no! No! What? Oh. Uh, oh no. What? <laughs> Bro, only if you can see my face right now, too. No, Seiko! Seiko! No, no. Nah. Oh, me? Just take her down. If she's. Seiko, you're alive. Hold on, I'll get you down. Yeah, we gotta get her down. Strangle. Ah, uh, sorry. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? The noose around Seiko's neck is attached directly to the ceiling, and there's nothing at her feet. All attempts to help her are just strangling her further. I have to... Her neck... Strangle. No, no, that's just making it worse. I need a platform, something to help her stand on. What? What would I use to help her stand on? This bucket? Dude, I might... Yes, yes. Yes, get it. Oh, what? What? What, what, what? A, a number of maggots found a way. What? Acquired filthy bucket. There was maggots in there? I didn't really eat all that because I didn't feel like it. I need to save Seiko. Seiko! Seiko! He better not die. Seiko, don't die. No. The filthy bucket fell from Naomi's hands. A leg up. With blank eyes, Seiko swung back and forth slowly in her noose. All life had been completely drained from her face. Oh, no. Uh, No. Are you serious? <laughs> you were smiling and laughing all this time. Didn't you say we'd find a way out of here together? Either she did this, or, uh, <laughs> it was a spirit. It has to be a spirit, okay? 
Yeah. Or she just lied to us about going to find freaking Yuki. Or Yuka. Stop this. Don't leave me all by myself. Say something. You shut up, dumb kid. Don't make me freaking... <laughs> these stupid kids. Look at these. Look at these. I just want to punch them in the face. So I'm gonna do. They have to be behind this, huh? Shut up. Child spirits. I can't move. And I can't even speak. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm really, 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 really scared. <laughs> Choke. What? What are we choking on? Somehow or another, now we found ourselves with a large pair of s sewing scissors in her hand. Her mouth was gape, was agape, and she was lowering and opening scissors into it as if intended to swallow them whole. What? <laughs> I can, I can feel the scissor blades clanging against my molars, and I can hear it too. What? What am I doing? Why would I try to? What, what am I doing? Why would I try to swallow a pair of scissors? My hand's moving on its own. No, stop! Ah! Ah! What? Oh no. What's going to happen? Oh no. Oh no. The time stopped. Why did the time stop? Okay guys, well, I'm back. So you guys would have seen that. And the audio definitely would not have been synced with everything else. The only things I probably would have synced up whenever editing it is the... Is the... Whenever I, I opened the stall door and stuff. Yeah, that was really sad. That was really sad and stuff. I did not like that the original time. <laughs> And I'm actually going to try completing all the endings. I found something, and I found out the true ending is I have to actually go inside of, you know that room? It's the exact same ending as this one. But I have to go inside of the room with the, with the newspaper and stuff. And then none of this happens. I don't die, but Seiko does. <laughs> that makes no sense. Seiko, Seiko still dies in the true ending, so I'm going to be sad either way. Doesn't, doesn't change a thing. I'm going to complete all of them in this video, though. Um, let me just see. This only shows three endings on here, though. One, two, and then three. There's four endings, though. I'll try doing the... So I'll come back to the save file. And then uh, get the key. And then read the newspaper and other stuff. Oh man, I'm not gonna like this. So I think I gotta go back into the infirmary and then yeah. I gotta do everything the exact same. I just gotta read to the newspaper, that's all. I'm gonna skip all the text because we've already read through everything. Actually, I'm not gonna skip through the text for this one because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be different. Like the next, whenever we're sitting at the infirmary beds and, and stuff, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be different. So I would have gotten the true ending if I actually went in there. Because I got the key um, ones, but like, yeah. If my save file was the same, then I would have actually gotten the true ending. My save file was not, so yeah. Let's enter. Then I gotta go get the infirmary key. I don't know how, know how long. It never tells me if my recording ends or not. It's not telling me. I don't know why. 
Yeah, there's something going on with my freaking thing. It's never telling me when my recording's ending. She says you will not leave this room. That's all. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and there we go. So let me go quickly save it. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go save in the infirmary so I can be ready for that. So I've done all that. I'm gonna go get the key and then save in the infirmary. <laughs> then I can come back to the save file whenever I need to. Whenever I want to complete the trending. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, I found this first... I found the first one. Turns out, classroom 1... 1A was the classroom we originated in. And I didn't even see this when I originally played. Hold up, I'm waiting till my recording ends just so I can start a new one because I do not want it because it never tells me if my recording ends or not. So I'm gonna wait here. There's only a couple of seconds left. So I'm gonna do that and then click record. But yeah, it says victim memories, one out of five right there. So I have to collect them all in an order. So if I collect them all in the right order, it tells me out of five they are. I've collected. It's almost done. Okay, 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 and it's done. There. <laughs> Victim memories, one out of five. Let our let our parting be but temporary. I send the I send the flowers, my beautiful flower, as Thou waits eternally, or eternal, for my return. Beautiful flowers thou can't see. And should uh, I err break free of this hell and retake my place at this at that side, these words I couldn't uh, never say, and these is that a boy cat? And these feelings I couldn't um, never give will all be laid bare for thee. But well, that was weird, but guys, I'll be right back once I actually find Classroom 2A. I do not know where that one is. <laughs> That's the one Classroom I don't think I've seen, but yeah, I'll be right back. Actually, no, hold up. I actually do not know the name of this Classroom over here. So it might actually be 2A. I'm, yeah, 2A. <laughs> it doesn't tell me the name of this Classroom, so I'm gonna check in here real quick. Yes, okay, this is right. Victim memories, 2 out of 5. Okay, great. <laughs> Alas, the only flowers that bloom in hell are white as freshly fallen snow. So on a lark, thy heart pure as a heart can be. I wish to stab with pines and scatter the petals. Let the white flower be dyed red by thee. Okay, hold up. I'm going to unplug my phone real quick and then plug it into this other phone I have here. So I'm using that phone to look at the guide, and it died, so I need to, uh... Well, it wasn't really a guide, it was telling me which classrooms to go in. <laughs> and I need to know what's the next classroom. Well, I know which ne next... I, I mean, I know where to ne find the next one, but I don't know where to find the one after it. I don't remember which room it was in. <laughs> I know where the next one is, the third one, but I, need to, I don't know where the fourth one is. And then the fifth one is supposed to be at the board's uh, laboratory, but I don't remember seeing a note over there. <laughs> a memory, I don't remember seeing a memory over there. <laughs> but right here is the next one. There are several uh, crumpled sheets of paper on the floor. We four noble musketeers uh, begin today. Let's be behind the main gate after school, Koito. I'm in classroom 5A, everybody's fine. Uh, Yuzuha, come join us, Asuka. Was that it? Because it didn't tell me the victim notes. Was I supposed to do that one? I don't really know. Was that the right one? Or was it over here? I'm gonna read this other one over here. I'm kind of hoping I'm doing this right. <laughs> so I didn't, I'm, I'm gonna have to restart if, I, if I'm doing this wrong, you know. Um, <laughs> I do not know the order to read it in. And this one just like my head is splitting. It doesn't really have anything. Um, I don't know, cause that one didn't tell me the victim notes. 
It didn't tell me victim notes at number three out of five. Just trying to say, no, guys, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go see where the next one is, so be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. There's something not right here. <laughs> um, so, uh, the next thing I'm supposed to get is supposed to be in here, okay? And look, it's it's gone. Like last video, there was someone here in the corner. There was a ghost sitting in a chair, or like a skeleton sitting in a chair last video. I don't know why it's not there. <laughs> like, it's gone. Let me just wait till the recording reaches 10 minutes and then I can add in there. Then I can start again. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, this video is such a pain, dude. It's gonna be a, a big pain to edit. I don't like this. Because this freaking recording decides not to tell me when, <laughs> when it's actually done recording. I don't know why. I don't know why my notifications for some reason are off for recordings and stuff. It told me like many other times, it's never happened before. And it tells me whenever it starts. <laughs> I feel like, let me just go back and real quick and then interact with every body and everything, you know? I, all this, all these letters and other stuff and then interact with the body, you know? So those are done. <laughs> Damn, this phone is not charging. And then I'll come all the way over here and interact with the body and um, <laughs> paper for this person over here. Let me quickly go check if, it, if the skeleton's there. If not, then I'm gonna have to go back and then interact with all the other ones as well. Because there's supposed to be a skeleton right there in the corner. <laughs> a skeleton with a note. And that's supposed to be the next note that I need. This is 5A. That's flashing 5A. <laughs> Maybe do I interact with this? Hold up. So I interact with that. Let me go check real quick. And if it's not, then I'm gonna have to go do all the other stuff, you know. Nope, still no. <sighs> so I'm gonna have to go back. I might have to get locked inside of that room again. You know, that room. Okay. I still don't know why this one's not telling me like which uh, which paper that is, but I'm pretty sure that's the third one I'm supposed to get. Cause I'm pretty sure I mentioned that it's like in the entrance of like, you know, in between the first and second floors. There's pants all over the floor, whatever. So. Here's a chair. Oh, there's a piece of paper right here. Victim memory number three. Oh, wait, this is the third one. Whoa, is me, whoa, is the, is the me who never stopped loving the E, even if thou ch chosest to move on, I will always lo love um, thee forevermore, 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 forever. Woe is me, woe, uh, whose um, crotch is raw and blow bloody. I scratch it so much I want to show it to thee to prove that it is thine and that I still love thee. Just... What? Okay. I really hope that's it. I really hope. I really hope interacting with that one unlocks it, bro. Cause if not, I don't want to have to go all the way back. I don't want to go. I don't want. I don't want to have to go into that room. I swear. Once they go inside of that, that that freaking corpse in that in that thing, you know, in that in that thing, better be there. Better be there. Let me see this. Yeah, no, that's just a random note. <laughs> the cause I've I've seen it before. Last video. 
when I came up here. It was in here. Thou art I. There it is, yes, it's right here. Uh, the skeletal remains of a girl, okay? A crumpled up note fell from the skeleton's pocket. You're an idiot, Plato. I thought we were friends. Is that it? The better have been it. It never, it didn't tell me, it didn't tell me anything. It said it was in, it was said it was in that classroom. Maybe it's not that girl. Maybe it's not. Let me go check the classroom and check real quick and see if there's any other notes. There it is. Okay, so yeah, it's, it was like that. Victim number four didn't want to see your face. Your face is for no one but me as I burn in the fires of hell. I continue to live here. I am not dead yet. Let out our par pora. The reminder of the page is caked with blood so thick as to um, obscure any further writing. Okay. <laughs> one more, which is up there at the laboratory. So now I go to that one, and then I unlock ending number four. Because it never said to do anything else afterwards. All it said was just to get all, all victim notices. All, all victim notes and stuff. All victim memories, there we go. It just told me to get all five of them, and then um, that's it. It does something. I don't know what it does. And then I'll have one more ending to complete, which is pretty easy. I just gotta hop back into my previous save file and then survive. And then go to the room where... <sighs> Psycho... Psycho or something like that. I forgot her name already. Um, Seiko. It says on the side. I don't know why. <laughs> Seiko, where she... Dies. And then here is a pile of haphazard... Okay, uh, Sasha. Okay, nears, uh, this wasn't here before though. This isn't the same one. Uh, sure will save me. Okay, well, I don't know if that one was there or not. But, here it is, the last one. The, the, fifth, the fifth and final chapter of the victim's memories is sitting on the ground. Read it. <sighs> Let's have a look. Victim memory number five out of five. You can't, um, I think it says you can't rest die um um a peg is, is to me where you were you where you're dead you um when i think you're dead you bit but i don't know what that says i'm going to your in Oh no, okay. It says I'm going to rip your intestines from your body. <laughs> that sounds gross. And make red flowers bloom. Uh, never that white skin or of yours. Okay. This ain't even it able to tell if you're a boy or a girl. They won't even be able to tell if you're a boy or, or a girl anymore. When I'm done with you, okay? That doesn't seem safe. <laughs> huh? Oh no. Oh no. Seiko, what are you doing? Seiko. 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 Poor girl, poor girl. Seiko. This is not Seiko. Seiko's being possessed. No, me. You poor girl. You poor girl. Poor girl. Seiko, what's happening to you? Seiko! Oh no. Oh no, Seiko's gone crazy. No, please, okay. Yeah, Seiko's gone crazy. Damn, bro. Seiko's spirit was clearly not entirely intact. She was a shell of her former self, and it didn't seem like she was coming back. <laughs> it hadn't been around... It had been around four days since we'd gotten trapped in the school, give or take. Okay, Seiko tied me to a chair, and the two of us were stuck here forever, alone, together in this hell. 
never again to see another living being while we still drew breath. Cat, go away. Now me. Seiko, shut up. You're already being creepy. You tied me to a chair. <laughs> Seiko. Now me. Seiko, have you finally come back to your senses? You have no idea how worried I was. Now me, you poor girl, you poor girl, poor girl. I can't, I can't take this anymore. I can't take it any- Seiko, what are you gonna do? Don't do anything. I don't want you to do anything, Seiko. What was that? It went like... Is that it? Okay, that's it. Well, that was ending four. And then I'm gonna quickly do ending, uh, I'm gonna skip past that. Okay, I'm back. Naomi! Naomi, what happened? Are you okay? So yeah, this is different, definitely. Seiko, sorry for the mess. What are you talking about? Don't apologize for barfing, you poor girl. Everything's okay. You'll feel better now that it's out of your system. Bro, we, we puked up blood. You need me to rub your back? <laughs> Oof. I think I'll be fine. Thanks, though. Did you find Yuka? Uh-huh. Huh? Uh -huh. Looks like we really are only two people here. The two of us living people, anyway. This place is just way too quiet. How about you, Naomi? Is your leg any better? Are you okay, Tobia? While I was resting, I was suddenly attacked by this creepy black operation thing. What? Oh my god, are you alright? I think so. We should cons consider that room off limits from here on out, though. That's fine. I'm just glad you're okay. I guess we'd better keep moving then. Can you stand? Yeah. But... Where are we supposed to go? Hmm, <laughs> well... We've act we've already been pretty much everywhere. We can go in, in this godforsaken school. And the only other people we've come across all are, are all dead. Damn it. There I go again. It's hopeless. We're finished, and I'm so tired. I'm acting like a child again. Naomi, come on, it's not that bad. We'll figure something out. Plus two niners um can nev um plus two niners never say die, right? We're invincible. I've got a hairdresser's appointment first thing in the morning tomorrow and I intend to keep it. And then in the afternoon, let's say um you and I go get our bikes fixed. Sounds like a plan, right? <laughs> if we make it back alive, I'm sure. This is Seiko. What am I doing? I just can't seem to hold back. Nami, are you, like, super duper tired or something? This is not like you. Come on, raise that chin. The only thing we have to have to fear is fear itself. What the hell has got you so chipper? Um, you just um, keep smiling and laughing. D do I? Tell me, how long is that going to last if you turn out? Um, if it turns out we can never go home again. Have you given that any thought at all? You'll figure something out. That's a crock. That's a crock, and I know it. It's a crook or a crock. I, I, I'm pretty sure it's a crock. I must have finally cracked under the pressure. This whole situation was just more than my soul could bear. I thought I'd be keeping Seiko's spirit up till the bitter end. But just like that, I was betraying her, abusing her. All I had running the, uh, through my head was pain and sadness. I was like a baby throwing a hissy fit. I was crying out irritatingly and couldn't stop. Venomous words are flowing from my mouth as if someone had turned on a, a, spy got, a spigot. All I could do was moan, complain, and belittle. I really was behaving just like a spoiled little brat. I'm sure our families are going to be really worried about us. 
They're going to search and search, but they'll never find us. It'll be a terrible burden for them. You're wrong. How so? About it being a burden. When you lose a loved one, you cherish that person's memory. It'll never be a burden. Uh, you just want to do whatever you can, whatever you can, uh, whatever you can to make her proud. You just want to. So do you. What is wrong with me? Seiko's mom um, disappeared several years ago. I know that. So why am I putting her through all this grief? That's how I. That's how I think the people we leave behind are going to feel. I don't know how. I don't know how it is for you and your families. For you and your family, but but normal people don't work that way. Now me. Sorry, how about we split up? We can't- okay. Seems the most effective plan of attack, don't you think? Who? Who says things like that? I have to apologize. I want to get home just as much as you do. Back to my dad and you, and everybody else. And I sure as hell don't want to make them worry about me. This is all my fault, I have to apologize. But most of all, I don't want you, of all people, to speak to me like that. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know why you gave me a choice. Seiko, I, I'm, I'm so... I, I'm sorry too, but it's okay. If that's what you think we should do, then let's split up. I'll go this way. What the hell is wrong with me? I couldn't even manage to say the word sorry. What? I'd heard her loud and clear though. She was trying her hardest to keep my spirits up, trying her hardest to make me feel better. But the way I was at that moment, Seiko was just a little too bright for me, so bright that it hurt. And so, in this nexus of closed spaces where humans are scattered and imprisoned and killed, two friends who should have been thankful just for the small favor of being trapped together in this unforgiving place, although, were quickly and easily divided. My petty obsidence towards Seiko would come to be the biggest regret of my life as the consequence of that heated exchange. But the bathrooms are up, up, up there, but she went down. We're far more dire than I could, than, uh, than I ever could have imagined. <laughs> that jerk. Oh, we're playing as, we're playing as her? Playing a Seiko now. Uh, not another earthquake. I kind of want to get this over with, so I'm just gonna get to the part where she, you know, does stuff. Is it over? Are Are you okay now? Yeah, I'm gonna go back up, and then. I think we'll witness her doing the the sussy deeds. Yeah, what is this? I hope Naomi's okay. That doesn't look like throw up though. It's all blood and that looks like forgetting her organs and shit. What? No, the floor's collapsed. Did this happen because of the earthquake? I can't take this. Naomi. Wait, did I kind of mess up by picking the I'm sorry choice? I kind of hope that's not what happened because you know, I kind of need uh, her to die already, because Seiko is the one who's supposed to hang herself, not Naomi. Or we really might not ever make it back home again. This isn't a nightmare, it's actually happening. Just because the, the bathrooms are upstairs and that's where Seiko does stuff. I guess before anything happens to either one of us, I should tell her how I feel. It better not be Naomi who does it. Or not, there's really no way it would ever work out. <laughs> Try as I might, I'd say I st I'd stand no chance against Mochida. Hmm. 
I think I just heard somebody calling out. Follow the voice. Yes. I'm gonna follow the voice. That was the first time, huh? The first time I ever fought with Naomi like that. I hate that it never tells me. I really hope next video it tells me stuff. <laughs> Naomi, what's going on? From the moment Seiko and I parted ways, the fear I had been harboring since I got here just kept growing stronger and stronger. I felt like something was something else in my head. Um, was something else was in my head, like I was under some alien influence. In my me in my mentally um distraught state, I ran all through the building, frantically searching for Seiko. I just kept calling her name and over over and over again. Strangely, I have no memory of where I went during this time. I just ran as if in a daze, unaware of and unconcerned with my surroundings. When I finally came, senses uh, start. Okay, how did Seiko get up here though? This is this this part the exact same. But I don't know how Seiko got up here. Like the the whole the hallway's blocked off, and I know whenever we were playing as Seiko, she followed a voice. Uh, yep, everything's the exact same, apart from the part where we stab ourselves with the scissors or cut off our tongue, I think. You have to anger yourself. Uh, you were smiling this time. Say something. Oh, Seiko. I want to apologize to you for what I said. Up until just a few hours before, I was laughing and playing in school with my best friend. Now, here she was, right in front of my eyes, lifeless, hanging from a noose. How could I possibly accept this uh, as reality? I can't believe this is real. I refuse to accept it. It just can't. It just can't be. Continued in chapter two. Chapter two has been unlocked. Extra one has been unlocked. Oh, we unlocked the first extra. But guys, uh, we're going to end the video here because we completed all of chapter one. I did all four endings in this one video. Surprisingly, and the two ending uh, number two and number three I did in another video, but it didn't freaking it didn't tell me when the video ended. But whatever, guys. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I already know this video is gonna be a big pain in my butt to edit, so I'm gonna start on that immediately after I finish recording. So, guys, I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and of course, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye. <laughs>